All right. Good morning and welcome to day three. Uh, welcome to day three of the Drop in Church project, uh, my personal portfolio project on how a fuzzy minded, busy, extra kind of unfocused creative uh, can come to produce in 14 days. Um, the last couple of, uh, this is my third day. Um, so far, it's been pretty good. Um, you know, this is a personal vlog and I'm going to hopefully try to turn it into a product. So the footage that I record here, believe me, every day for tuning in, you are helping me and you're helping yourself. Um, today, I'm going to do something different. Oh, so a couple of things I want to report. Two things mainly I want to report. One. On my trusty vlog, on my trusty uh, notes, today, what I have for you is I provided, I, I built an episode list with some ideas for how I can make sure that each time I record one of these, I'm providing you value. All right. So what that means is I know you don't want to sit here and hear me talk every day. And in a year from now, when I look at these, I won't want to sit here and hear me talk about old projects that either never happened or um, stuff that failed. So um, I want to reward everybody for, for watching by kind of talking about the format of this show. So I will be doing tutorials. I will be doing reviews. And I will, again, also be having some personal uh, discussions with you, the uh the creative who's also looking for inspiration for how to make yourself do your work. So I've got some, there's definitely some things that I have done that work. I want to do them again with you and I want to get better at them and perfect them with you. So that's one of the things that I did. I, I did deliver today a episode list uh, with some tutorials, which I did one yesterday. So I can actually successfully mark one off. Yesterday I recorded the, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Done. Done. My squirrel mark. Uh, um, anyway, yesterday I did successfully complete a tutorial showing how to use a quick way of getting ideas from our trust, trusty idea journal, my iconic yellow um, idea journal on to the computer so that you can start to share your product ideas. Products are producing, right? So we did do some producing yesterday. Today, we've got organization, a little list. So I did do some producing today. The other thing that I wanna to do today, I wanna to get accomplished. Um, so talking about skills, product designers deliver products that are uh, solve problems. Uh, the definition of a product would be um, a, a, a solution for a distinct audience that helps them get a goal accomplished. So one of the things I want to talk and share about today is how to prepare a goal statement. Um, I know that there are parts of my audience that are jacks of all trades, which I am myself. I know that there are uh, my audience is suffering from procrastination um, in all forms and fashion of procrastination. Um, and, and I have these in my notes because I thought more and more closely about who I am speaking to. And um, so I know that over learning and not doing are really big problems that we may or may not be aware of. Uh, in my audience specifically, and then you probably are trying to learn something and tackle something at, something at the same time. These are some of the five, these are four key problems that I know I suffer from that get in the way of actually me producing. So that's why, how I know that. I kind of sat there and thought about it. So what I want to do is show you how to create a problem statement that captures the products that each one of these four different types of problems might use. And all four probably, I'm sure, belong in this video. All, all four belong in this audience. So that's the deliverable for today, uh, walking through creating a problem statement. 
The other thing that I wanted to talk about is what I'm going to get done today. So today, I've promised myself one of the things that I've been working on for my portfolio, because again, that's one of the side things here is how can I add more products to my portfolio? I am going to uh, get a chapter done in my study towards my Google Analytics certification. And so Google Analytics fits into my tool belt in the way that, number one, the certification, which I'm going through on the Google uh, Advanced Analytics Academy, it really helps to break down how to take data and turn it into a product that starts to provide insights. I've used this tool a few times in developing frameworks, developing dashboards for work, and just overall how I start to put together a research plan. Because I know at some point research, you're probably going to sit there and analyze it. So the Google Analytics uh, Advanced um, Analytics Certification is one of the pieces of the tool belt that I'm going to put in my tool belt before 2021. Um, that's a little over two weeks away. And today I'm going to get, I'm going to knock out section three, where we're talking about learning about segmentation. So, um, I don't really know. I need, I don't really know what the deliverable is. Perhaps I can do a quick recap, uh, about segmentation and how you can use that in your user research, um, uh, on the next episode. Um, so that's what I've got today. We're going to work through a problem statement for those four types of user. And we're going to work through Google Analytics uh, Chapter 3 on segmentation and um, hopefully deliver you some deliverables tomorrow um, as a result. Thank you very much. And I will see you tomorrow. Uh, hey, get some stuff done today. I'm out.